Hey there crafter, today we are going to be tackling a project I've wanted to do for so long. So years back on Pinterest I saw this really beautiful snowman made out of fish bowls and I've always wanted to copy it. But I started looking into it and they're like 20 bucks for one of those fish bowls. So I was like, you know, I can't really swing that. But then I found out that Dollar Tree carries these little glass dishes that are kind of the fish bowl shape. So today I'm going to show you how to assemble the dollar store budget friendly fish bowl glass snowman. Kind of a mouthful, but let's get into it. All right, so I have a bunch of items on my table here, but don't worry, only a few of these are must have items. Here are your must have items. First of all, you need to go to Dollar Tree and get some of the fish bowl glass dishes. I personally have a hard time finding these at my Dollar Tree. They usually have them in the summer and then run out during the fall and the winter. So I bought these in the summer just in case my Dollar Tree ran out by Christmas time, but they actually have some more in stock. My Dollar Tree tends to clear out so fast, so it might be a little hit or miss if you can find these. But these are from Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree carries two different sizes. So I got two of the larger size and one of the smaller size. My initial thinking was to do two globes for the body and a smaller one for the head, but I decided I'm just going to use two of them. So the small one and the bigger one. You can do three bowls or you can just do two, whichever look you prefer. The second must have item is something for a hat. What I found to be the easiest and also the perfect size is just a basic butter tub. So we'll turn this upside down and that will form my hat. And it's the perfect size for the little Dollar Tree globe. And you can either stick with just a round butter tub or you can also add a brim. I have a couple ideas on the brim. One idea is to pick up a plate or a dish from the dollar store. Another idea is to get a larger plastic lid. So this one is actually my lid for storing my glue stick. So I might sacrifice this lid for this project, not sure yet, but you could use a larger lid like this to create the brim. That's probably what I will end up doing, but you could also use cardboard or cardstock to add the brim of the hat. And those are the only must haves. The rest of this stuff all over this table are items to decorate inside your snowman. All right, so assembly for this is really simple. First step is to get the stickers off of your globes. Easiest way to do this is carefully use a razor blade to peel back the label. And then to get the sticker residue off, I use Goo Gone and I'll get that residue off there so easily and so nicely. And as you can see, it gets it really clean. After stacking up my dishes, I decided that the butter tub is a little bit big. If I were doing mine a height of three, then I think the butter tub would work, but I feel like it's a little bit too big. So what I'm going to do instead is I have this roll left over from a dollar store pack of ribbon, and I'm going to use this and the lid for my butter tub to make my hat. So if you're going the butter tub method, hat assembly is pretty straightforward, either just leave it like this and paint it or else if you want to use a larger lid for a bigger brim then you'll just need to glue the container to that lid if you're doing something like this little roll and the butter tub lid we basically need to cover this outside section and put a little circle on top and then glue it together the basic idea is we're going to take a strip of paper that will wrap around here and we will tab it along this top edge so we can fold it over and then we just put a circle on top of that glue it together paint it so i want to start by marking a line down the edge of my paper and I'll notch it evenly along there. And then I'm gonna line up this side and mark all the way down so it'll be the correct width. I'm just gonna notch along the edge so that way I can fold these tabs over. When my glue gun heats up, I'll glue this around here, but I will also need a round piece to go on top to hide all the little tabs. So now that I've tabbed both edges of my paper, it's time to attach it to the spool. I like to do one side at a time, and I've got my glue gun here heated up. And I like to come in a little ways for my first tab to glue down, so I'll come in maybe two or three tabs, put a little bit of hot glue there, and fold that tab onto the top of my spool. You really don't need much hot glue, that was kind of a bit much there. And then I like to go along, skip a few. and then glue it down. Cause I find if I go through and just do a few tabs to start with and then go back and fill everything in, I can get it lined up better and just get a stronger hold. And then if we look here, I'm about to have a ton of overlap. So I'm gonna cut off so I don't have quite so much overlap. So once I've gone all the way around, just kind of spacing it out, I'll go back to my very first spot. And glue those tabs down. So now all I have left is this little overlap section, so I'm gonna glue down the very last tab 
Make sure we're lined up well and then go back through and get all the tabs in between. I also like to come to this little section here just so it's not popping up so much. And then lastly glue the circle on top to cover up the little tabs. Glue it onto my lid. And paint this whole thing. So my hat is mostly dry and I'm just going to use a thing of red washi tape to put a little band around it. And now for the fun part, it is time to fill our glass jars with whatever decorations you want to use. I'm going to show you a couple different looks. Personally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a winter wonderland theme, kind of like a little Christmas village. So at the Dollar Tree, I was able to find this faux snow. I think it's super pretty. I don't know if one pack will be enough. I'll let you know as we get further along. And then I really wanted to put little people and like deer in there. So I found these at the Dollar Tree. I'm in love with these little lamp posts. So I got three packs. Each pack with a dollar. I couldn't find deer at the Dollar Tree that were small enough to fit inside here because remember everything has to fit within the height. So then I went to Hobby Lobby and I found these cute little deer and I picked up two packs of these bottle brush Christmas trees. As a quick note, these all say $2.99. I did not spend $3 on plastic deer. Hobby Lobby always starts their Christmas decor off at 50% off so each of these were a buck fifty. And as you get further into the season they'll discount it even more. That's how I'm going to decorate mine, but you can fill them however you want. So another idea is to fill it with jingle bells. This will look so pretty. I've got these other little ornaments that I picked up at Hobby Lobby after season when everything was like 90% off. Hobby Lobby also has these adorable little foil wrapped Christmas boxes. So lots of ways you can fill the fishbowl of your snowman and really make it match with your own decor. Now I'm going to open up my little packs with the little figurines. Got the little reindeer from Hobby Lobby, bottle brush trees. So now that I know what I'm working with, I'm going to start pouring my snow into the globe and I probably should have bought more. Another thing is you may find that you want to use a little like sticky tack and first fasten things to the bottom of your dish and then just pour the little snow or whatever you're using as snow into the base or you can set it on top. I'm going to see how well they stand if I just set it directly on the snow. Okay, I think I am going to stack mine three tall so I'm just going to arrange these in here and we'll see how well they stand. All right, I will likely play around with how I have stuff arranged in there, but look how cute that is. So now I need to attach them, I think, so they stand upright a little better, but you get the idea. So cute. I absolutely just love this idea. I think it looks so festive. But thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. I know I had a lot of fun playing around with this and experimenting with all the different looks. As I said, the Christmas village with the little figurine, that style is my absolute favorite, but there's so many ways you can decorate this. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to let me know by leaving a thumbs up on the video and commenting down below. And as always, I would ask if you would subscribe, please. You guys helped me get over 6,000 just last month, so I am so thankful for that. Y'all are the best. But I hope everyone's Christmas decorating and DIYing is going well, and I'll see you in my next video. Happy crafting!